welcome back to Sparkle with Sophie with me, your favourite Disney travel and beauty YouTuber. If you're new, hi. If you've been here before, welcome back. Make sure you're hitting the like and subscribe buttons to the channel to keep up to date with all my upcoming videos. Also, follow me on TikTok, Sparkle with Sophie, as I do loads of mini makeup demos, reviews, and just showing you my favourite products at the moment. And these are both high-end, like Charlotte Tilbury, but also looking at affordable drugstore makeup. So definitely follow me on TikTok. On today's video, we are going to be looking at the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So... This is a product who really gets really mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people are like, uh, it's greasy, it's oily, and I managed to get myself a little mini one. So I went to one of the flagship stores in White City in London. It was amazing. I went there and they had a mini one. I think it was 13 pounds. So if you're from the London area and you want to try the product, really, really good to get yourself one of these. So if I open it up, we can have a look. It is literally a mini version of the product. Yep, so really lovely. The packaging is always gorgeous. And I'll open it up so you can see what the wand looks like. So not that different from a concealer applicator. So this product is meant to act as a base, a glow, an illuminator. Um, it can also be considered a primer for your foundation. It can also be applied on top of foundation in this area for extra shine. So with my super oily skin, I am going to be trying it on today and showing you exactly what it looks like when I apply it. Then when I apply foundation, so I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. Then when I apply powder and concealer and then also when I apply the rest of my makeup. So you're really gonna get a thorough demo as to what this product looks like and how my foundation sits. I am a little bit concerned, I'm like, is it going to be disgusting? Is it going to break up? Is it going to separate? Who knows? But um, we're going to see. I'm very, very excited. I love the look of this product on so many people. But like I said, I'm very oily. So we're just going to see. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And let's head over to the product demo. Okay, guys. So I've just done my eye makeup. And you can see at the moment my skin is always, is always very shiny. That's just how it is. I have done all the skin prep. I've got a tiny little pimple right here. But we're going to see what this looks like on its own. Then I'm going to apply the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So this is the heaviest and most matte foundation that Charlotte Tilbury does. So I'm going to see what it looks like without mixing it with a primer or anything else just applying this and then applying this on top I'm then going to also apply powder so we're really going to see what this product looks like if you have oily skin and using the other products so let's go ahead let's undo it it's so cute I do love it um, normally obviously if you're working as a makeup artist you never apply it directly to somebody's face but because it's mine and it's only going to be used on me I am going to apply it directly onto the face so here, just above the cheekbones, I'm also going to put it down the nose, and I want to put it on my forehead. Now, I've noticed, because I'm 26 this month, that I have got very fine lines trying to creep in. No, thank you. So I'm going to put a little bit on my chin, and I do think if I put a little bit of Hollywood Flawless Filter on the forehead, you know, it just hopefully will minimise those fine lines. Um, so I'm just going to apply it. I'm going to keep it away from here because that's where I get super oily, don't like it around my mouth. And also, when I have any breakouts, often, you know, hormone linked, they come up around here, so going to avoid putting the product there. So you can see, as I've explained, this is in a shade two, and the foundation I use is a shade two neutral. So with my Beauty Blender, I'm gonna go ahead and just press this product into my face. Oh, it really, it's like it disappears quite quickly though. I was worried that this was going to be quite, you know, oily, shiny. So just pressing this in with my beauty blender. Guys, do I want to go in with a little bit more? I feel like I might want a little bit more of the product. Yeah, I'm going to go in. I'm going to put a little bit more just on these parts of my cheeks. Oh risky when you've got oily skin anything like this seems a little bit risky so i've just put that there i know a lot of people put this all over their face but for me that just seems like too much it just seems too much shine okay now we're going to go in with the airbrush flawless foundation so i'm going to do half a pump on the back of my hand like so and i'm going to take the pointy end of my beauty blender 
and I'm just going to pop it around the face. My skin looks amazing with this underneath. What is happening? Like, I really thought this would be, you know, a little bit oily. I thought it would separate my foundation. Obviously, we're going to have a little wear test as well. So I'm going to come back on camera and see if this has sat nicely or if it's separated. But at the moment, the foundation is sitting beautifully. Look at it. Sitting absolutely beautifully on top of this product. It's not separating. It's not making it go extra like dewy or blah, shiny. So this is me. I've used half a pump of the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm literally shocked. Look at how good this looks. Even on my nose. Has it separated on my nose? Let me get my mirror for a little close-up look. No, it hasn't. Hasn't separated at all. Hasn't accentuated any texture. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer because I like to conceal. I saw this on TikTok. So you want to take a little bit under here. Around the nose. Again here. And on the chin. And obviously to cover that nice big old pimple I've got right there. So again that's on the jaw. Around the nose. And up here. And apparently that really helps shape the face. So again, I'm getting that full coverage, but without any like too much dewiness or accentuating my pores. And I've really got that nice full coverage. Crazy. Then last but not least, before I go in with my bronzer and my blusher and finish off the makeup look, I am going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So an incredible, incredible product, yeah? So I like to take this and I do like to put it basically all over my face because, as explained, I am very oily. So just pressing it into the back of my hand to get rid of too much fallout. And I just put it especially on the chin because I still want to stay, you know, glowy. Oh, look at that falling off. So I press it into these areas because I still want to be glowy and, you know, look like I've got really radiant skin. But I do not like it when these areas get dewy because I just look greasy. And then I'm going to leave it there, you know. I'm going to go in and do my bronzer and my blusher and highlighter and everything else. And then I'll show you the finished look and we will discuss this product. Okay guys, so this is us zoomed in when I finish my makeup. I'm loving the fact that when I first put on the bronzer, I did feel like it was breaking up a little bit and it was texturizing when it was like mixing in the areas that I'd put the Hollywood Flawless Finish. But actually, when I put the blusher on and just let it set for a minute, it actually looks gorgeous. Like look at that shine. It's not like a greasy, oily shine. It's just that really nice, glowy, healthy, radiant look. So a real fan of this product so far. Okay guys, so I've actually had this foundation on for four hours now, not the full eight hours, four hours. And I just want you to see how it's sitting. So this is with the Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath. I always get shiny in these parts, but I didn't put the Hollywood Flawless Filter there. It's just because I'm very oily. But it, actually my foundation is sitting beautifully on the skin. Absolutely beautifully. It hasn't moved, it hasn't like curdled or separated. And I've had lots of compliments, so... In terms of the wear test, four hours and I've been out for lunch, so I've got no lipstick on. Yeah, highly recommend. So final thoughts are definitely worth buying. I'd say get it in the same shade as your foundation. That's what I found to be successful. However, if you're going up to tan shades, when I tried it on people, it is quite nice if you use a couple of shades lighter just because they have different tones to them. But definitely go into store, definitely try it out. And I would highly recommend. I love it this look. So make sure you follow me on TikTok, Sparkle with Sophie, and on Instagram, Sparkle with Sophie X, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time for loads more fun on Sparkle with Sophie.